navigation and digital maps at our fingertips. So, how did measurement methods evolve? While you may be familiar with various conventional techniques used for ancient map making, such as step counting, triangulation, and star navigation, which was mainly used for sea charts, you may need to be made aware of the dynamic process behind these methods of measure taking. Accuracy was not the primary objective. Measurements often had some degree of flexibility, as maps evolved out of curiosity and to imagine other countries. Therefore, the mixture of being precise and imagination goes hand in hand. Nonetheless, some maps were particularly notable for their precision. For example, the UG2, General Map of China, and Daming Jubian Wan Guorenji Lu Chengquan II were highly accurate for their time due to a combination of factors, including the tools and techniques used, as well as the knowledge and expertise of the map makers. In ancient times, map making didn't rely solely on geographic surveys. Instead, information about regional topography was gathered from various sources, including travel accounts, observations, tax registers, fortification, and river management drawings. Influenced by the multicentric perspective, these approaches produced diverse antique maps that reveal geographic information, cultural values, and worldviews. Creating a map was a collaborative effort that involved multiple authors responsible for various tasks such as drawing, marking, translation, photocopying, and providing descriptions. It required the skills and knowledge of different individuals to complete the task effectively.